Ladies and gentlemen, this is my friend George. George is a teacher and a friend, and uh, I really enjoy his company. And I was just, we're sitting at a coffee shop in Park Slope, Brooklyn. And while he was in getting some coffee, I turned to another friend and I said, I love George. He always lifts me up when I'm feeling a little blue or whatever. He just always has this great attitude. And uh, George, not coincidentally, maybe is a teacher. And so, so we talk about all things here at this coffee shop. Um, but George is a teacher here. and we talk about culture and school culture and he was just telling the gathered friends here uh, a method of making homework better and more palatable. So George, can you tell us where you teach, what you teach, and then this method that you have that maybe could make everyone's lives better? It helps with most kids. You My teach where, George, pal? Manhattan Comprehensive Night and Day High School. I teach at night. Okay, and the and the students are how old? Like the students are nineteen and twenty. Okay, they're, they're trying to finish up after hitting some bumps in the road. Got it, got it, got it. So it's a special so, class of, of persons, and they need yeah. you know. You've really thought about what the uh, uh, what they should be learning and how. Right. So give us quick. Uh, uh, how, okay. What is this? So, homework method that you I, I think, think could be you, helpful to be. I think you have a better chance of students finishing homework, yeah. parents being able to help kids with their homework yeah. if the teacher gives them 10 to 15 minutes in class to start that assignment. Okay. The numbers show yeah. that a kid is more likely to finish an assignment that they started in class and are able to finish at home. Right. This is music to my ears because I think a lot of uh, administrators and teachers and just everyone mm -hmm. uh, don't understand that in many homes, this is how it goes. R remember now, kids have gotten up earlier than their body clock wants them to. They've gotten up True. at seven, they're dragging. Uh, they're then in school all day and school is an effort for them. Not only the work, but also the social interactions and such. At the end of the time, when they get out of 240, they are, to one degree or another, drained. There's a lot going and on. Uh, they also haven't had enough athletic uh, movement. So mm -hmm. not, their brains are tired, but their body might not be. Mm -hmm. And so, hey, they want some downtime. They want some time to relax and unwind. I respect that. And what happens once those kids get out of school? Mom and dad, or mom and mom, or dad and dad start saying, all right, end that session playing at the playground with your friends and running around and getting exercise. Got to go do homework. Right. But wait a second. Been doing work all damn day. Look at the look on their faces. Are they happy about it? They're not. Many, of, Some of them are. Some of them are more respectful of it than others, but many of them are not. And so I hear some of you saying right now, well, fuck them. Fuck the little brats, you know? Uh, they, they should be able to do it. But I'm going to take the counter to that, and I'm going to say, but I want my kid to enjoy school. I don't want them looking at it as a chore. And so I want to find things that will make it more palatable for them to go to school. I want them to learn in there. I want them to work. But I look at George, and I see someone who is a professional at teaching. I am not. So, after I managed to wrangle my kids to a table at home, after pulling the plug on their uh, playground session, I start looking at a packet that the kids have been sent home, a packet. And I gotta be honest with you, I got a fourth grader, and sometimes I look at the packet and be like, I don't really know what to do. And I'm there doing it with the kid. Yeah, yeah. Now, again, I hear people popping up and saying, well, that's good, you're being a good dad, and blah, blah, blah. But guess what? I'm also trying to juggle my own stuff. I'm trying to write for my websites, nyfights.com. I'm probably trying to get dinner done too because my wife has a, 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 a good job that, that uh, uh, you know is a big drain on her. She makes good money, God bless her soul. So she's probably trying to do some work too, or she's at work. So I'm juggling, 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 and I'm trying to be George. And I'm not George, I'm Mike. Right. who is a boxing writer, who is not a teacher. So, um, let me just shorten it up and yeah. say, oftentimes this homework experience for this nine-year-old doesn't go well. And, oh, I hear you over there again. You mm -hmm. saying, well, fuck it, who cares? Fuck you, my kid does it fine. Okay, but I guarantee this. I talk to more parents who it doesn't go fine for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who, it's a nightly struggle. Who, it forces the kid to end up not liking a portion of school. Yes. Who yes. wants that? Anyone in their right mind doesn't want that. Somewhere along the way, we 
beat the love of school out of kids and yeah. when they're little homework might be a big part of that because if they don't get it done they're getting negative reinforcement yeah. from the teacher they're not going to want to do the homework um but you know with the bigger kids i will say especially with a writing assignment yeah if they've started it in class yeah they're more likely to finish it at home so yes give a few minutes do a couple of problems help them start the intro whatever the assignment may be and i bet you'll have a little bit better luck at getting them to finish gospel truth in my eyes and ears from professional teacher <laughs> my man george thanks george rock on